Today, I'm gonna to show you the easiest way to start email marketing with zero dollars. I'll be sharing the system many businesses use to make tens of thousands of dollars a month, from designing an effective form to collect emails, to creating a high converting email campaign, to automating your emails so you can make sales in your sleep. By the end of this video, you'll be ready to unlock the power of email marketing. Step one, set up. We first need an email marketing platform. An email marketing platform is a service designed for businesses to create, send, and manage email marketing campaigns. Unlike your regular email client like Gmail and Outlook, they offer specific features that help promote your business to your audience and drive sales. The one I use is Omnisend. It's easy to use and packed with powerful e-commerce features. The best part is it's free to start with at the link in the description below. Check it out. To begin, press start free on their website and create an account. After creating one, you'll land on their dashboard where they'll ask you to connect your store. Click on that, then click on the e-commerce platform that you use. You can connect with Shopify, Wix, and many more. For myself, I'm gonna go with WooCommerce. Woo, baby! Here, it'll give you instructions on how to connect your store. For WooCommerce, you can either directly download the OmniSend plugin here or through your WordPress admin panel. Just select plugins, add new plugin, search OmniSend, find email marketing for WooCommerce by OmniSend, and hit install now. After it's installed, you're gonna click OmniSend for WooCommerce on the left. Connect your account, then approve. And voila, you're all set up for email marketing. Let's now move on to step two. Forms. To do email marketing, you're gonna need emails. And to have emails, you're gonna need to collect them through a form on your website. There are four types of forms to collect emails with. Embedded forms, which are placed within the content of a web page. Landing page forms, which take up an entire web page and are often shared outside of your website, like social media. Flyout forms, which slide in from the side of the screen. And pop-up forms, which pop up on the screen. Although pop-ups may seem annoying, they're surprisingly effective and the most popular. So let's kick off off your email collection by building a pop-up form. To create one, click forms on the header. You'll be taken to this page where OmniSend already has a go-to pop-up form template for you to preview and launch. Here is the go-to pop-up form template. It consists of a call to action text offering an incentive, an email input field, and a button. Offering an incentive is crucial to collecting emails. People won't want to give you their email for nothing. They want something in exchange. In this example, it's 10% off your first order, but for your business, it could be something different. Think about what you can offer. Maybe $10 off, free shipping, a free digital product, access to a wait list, or just updates on the latest promotions and releases. This form builder is drag and drop. I can click on any item to customize it on the right, whether it's the font, size, color, you name it. You'll want to spend some time making things look good to fit your brand and website. On the left, I can drag in any additional items I want, like an image, first name input field, or a phone number input field. But don't make the mistake of asking for too much info. Too many questions can push people away from signing up. So I recommend you just keep it simple with just a name and email or just email. Besides, if you do want to collect more info, this form template has something else up its sleeve. Below, click step two and it'll open the second step in this multi-step form. Rather than bombarding customers with all your questions at once, a multi-step form lets you spread them across two steps, making the process feel less overwhelming to customers. And for those customers who don't want to provide more info and exit at step two, well, at least you've still collected their email in step one. An email is better than nothing. Just like step one, you can customize step to any way you like, or delete it altogether if one step is all you need. After submitting their info, your subscribers will see a success or subscribe screen that you can also customize. One more tip, consider adding a teaser. This is a floating button on your web page that can open your pop-up at any time. It's a great way to reel back in those customers who have a habit of exiting pop-ups immediately, like me, but later regret it, and ensures you don't miss out on their signup. Once your pop-up form is all ready to go, hit enable form and boom, your pop-up form will now pop up on your website. If you don't like the pop-up form template I just showed you and would prefer another one, hit create form, hit pop-up, and here you can choose from a variety of other pop-up form templates. There's a Wheel of Fortune one that if it fits your brand can be really effective. There are also templates for the three other types of forms I mentioned earlier if you decide to use them, as well as templates for different goals like gather interest in out of stock. With a form set up, it's time to head to step three, segmentation. 
Before sending out any emails, it's important to organize your subscribers into segments, smaller groups based on specific criteria. While you can send emails to your entire list, and sometimes it makes sense, it's best to tailor your emails to target specific segments. It'll allow your emails to be more personalized and relevant, which will boost engagement and conversions. To get started, head to the Audience tab and select Segments. Click on Create Segment, and you'll find a bunch of pre-built segments designed by Omnisend to bring results based on customer behavior, location, and more. For example, you can segment subscribers who added a product to their cart but didn't complete their purchase, or those who are active email subscribers. As you can imagine, these two groups are different and require different types of emails. For these cart abandoners, you might want to send them a discount code to encourage them to complete their purchase. But for active email subscribers, they may not need that extra push. Sending them a discount code could be unnecessary and cost you money. You'll want to explore these pre-built segments and pick a few that you'd like to target. Let's go with active email subscribers. And here it is. If you want to edit it, for example, instead of 30 days of activity, you want 14 days of activity, you can just type it in here and press update segment. Hit segments and you have your segment. Went to target with an email campaign, which brings us to step four, campaigns. Let's send out some emails. An email campaign refers to an email sent to achieve a specific goal. In this example, let's promote the release of a new clothing collection. You'll want to click campaigns, then create email campaign. You can now fill out the details. First up is the subject line. You'll want yours to be short and attention grabbing. This might mean leading into urgency, like new styles are here, shop before it's gone. Curiosity, like our latest collection is here, take a look. Offers, like 10% off, the hottest new arrivals. Relevance, like fresh looks for this fall season. Or personalization, like hey blank, you'll love our new collection. You can insert your customer's name by clicking here and pressing name. You can also press generate AI subject line and let AI create one for you. This one's pretty good. Next, you'll want to add the sender's name, which would be yourself or your business and a pre-header. This is a text that shows up next to your subject line. Finally, you can add a campaign name for internal use. And with that, let's choose an email template. There are many different email templates to choose from. For myself, I'm looking to promote a product which falls under fashion and lifestyle and clothing. Hmm, which one should I pick? Ooh, how about this one? Preview looks good. Let's choose this template. And now you can build your email. Just like the form builder, this email builder is drag and drop. You can customize it however you like. You can also explore the library here on the left to add any additional items you want. Once you're done cooking, you'll want to send a test mail. You'll want to do so before you send out an email every time, just to make sure there's no errors, mistakes, and that the email can go through successfully. If things are good to go, you can now click save and choose recipients. Now remember, this email campaign is for our active email subscribers segment. So instead of all subscribers, we're going to go choose segments and send to active email subscribers. I'm going to go review the campaign. Looks good. And hit send now. And it's out, our first email campaign. While that was pretty easy to send, what if there was a way to send emails automatically? Enter step five, automation. Email automation allows you to send emails automatically based on predefined triggers. For example, a trigger could be when someone abandons their cart, signs up for an email list, or clicks a specific link. You can set that trigger to send out an email automatically. This series of events is called an automation workflow. Once set up, your emails run on autopilot, helping you save time and drive sales in the background. There are two essential workflows you'll want to set up when you're just starting out. The first is the abandoned cart workflow. When someone abandons their cart, you'll want to send them an email encouraging them to complete their purchase so you don't lose that sale. It's really easy to set up. Head to automation and meaning there is already a pre-built abandoned cart workflow. Let's preview and launch it. On this page, you'll want to press continue setup and here it'll ask you if you want to add an SMS channel to your workflow. On top of emails, OmniSend can actually send SMS text messages as well, which at times can be even more effective than emails. Roughly 98% of all business SMS messages are read by customers. It's pretty insane. So press yes, add SMS channel, hit start workflows, then show my workflows. And boom, you now have an abandoned checkout workflow and abandoned cart workflow. Let's open up the abandoned cart one. In the automation editor, you'll see the workflow laid out. It shows that when customers enter this workflow, when they add an item to cart, it'll trigger this email to be sent out. 
items in your cart are selling out fast. Now, if we go back to the trigger, you'll see there are exit conditions. Customers exit the workflow when they place an order or start their checkup. This means that the workflow will end and the email below won't be sent if the customer adds an item to their cart but places an order or starts their checkout. This is to prevent emails from being sent to customers who didn't abandon their cart. You'll also notice that there is a trigger filter that filters out customers who have less than one hour of inactivity time in their cart. This is important as it prevents emails from being sent too early to customers who haven't actually abandoned their cart and are just taking their sweet time shopping. After the email is sent out, you can see that the workflow continues. There's a delay action that waits 11 hours for the customer to place an order or start their checkout. If they do, they will exit the workflow. If not, a second email will be sent. Your cart misses you. And after 12 more hours, if they still haven't placed an order or started their checkout, a final third email will be sent to which the workflow exits and no more actions will happen. You can add additional actions by dragging them in from the left. For example, we can have the workflow send an SMS message, which we can customize here. Buy my product. <laughs> Don't actually say that. But as you can see, OmniSend has really done all the work for you. I wouldn't tweak this workflow much other than adding SMS and customizing the emails to fit your business, which you can do so by clicking onto the emails and editing them on the right. When you're done, hit publish changes and you're back to the automation dashboard. From here, you'll wanna customize the abandoned checkout workflow. But after that, you can move on to adding the second essential workflow everyone should have, the welcome workflow. You'll wanna send a welcome email to subscribers right after they sign up for your email list. It's your chance to make a great first impression and deliver the incentive you promised on your form, like a discount code for 10% off your first purchase. To create one, press create workflow, then select the pre-built welcome workflow among the many other ones. It'll load up the automation editor where you can see that the workflow triggers for customers who subscribe to your email list but haven't placed an order. After a one minute delay, they will receive a welcome email. Just like the previous workflow, you shouldn't need to tweak this one much. All you need to do is customize the email to fit your business. Once you're done, press start workflow and it's live. You can now sit back and let OmniSend do its thing. Then after some time, you can head into step six, reports. Once you've collected some emails, sent some emails and automated some emails, you'll wanna analyze your data in the report section to make better business decisions. Since this is a new account, I don't have anything to show you. But if I did, you'd see valuable data here like your placed order rate, open rate and click rate. These metrics can help you create better emails and see how much value you're getting from your email campaign. Another thing you should check out is OmniSend's pricing. As mentioned in the beginning, OmniSend is free to start with access to pretty much every feature, including 24 seven support. However, as your business expands, you might outgrow the free plan. So consider the other plans as well. And there you have it. A big shout out to OmniSend for sponsoring this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to like it, subscribe if you haven't already and peace out.